Good afternoon everybody, hope you're all well. It's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm uh, I'm all back to front with introducing myself to you and asking how you are. I've got a bit of a cold and uh, yeah, my head's all stuffed up and my nose is, is uh, running, nice. <laughs> and um, oh, my bones ache. Yeah, I've tested, it is only a cold and Neil's got it too and everybody he works with has got it. And, Oh, it's going round, isn't it? So it'll be another set of antibodies anti that I've got <laughs> once I'm through it. So, hey, never mind. It could be worse. There's worse things in life to have than a cold, isn't there? So, uh, yeah, I hope hope you haven't got cold and you're doing well. But if you have, yeah, we'll get through it together with a bit of crafting. <laughs> um, just hope my voice holds out. So we're back. It's Saturday, but we're back with the uh, fall fall journal because I, I want to get it finished and uh, get onto some more fall journals use up some of this um this fall ephemera and stock that I have got from last year so that I can start playing and making more this year so I left you in the previous video saying I was going to stick the um, envelope in the back didn't I and I did and I did um, put some string around it rather than that um twine that I found now I put it same length either side and then decided I preferred it tied at the side. <laughs> Just holds that flap down um, a little bit more. Um, and this is a bit easier to tie. The uh, embroidery floss that I had on it was quite floppy and, and difficult to, to hold the flap down and, and to tie. So um, yeah, he probably wants a little bit off there, off this side, not a lot. Ooh, upside down scissors. I'll leave it on in case you want to put it in the middle, but yeah, it's there. So um, because that's now done, what I want to do is something on the front here. So I think I said to you last time that I wanted to put a pocket across the bottom. Um, just looks a little bit, tiny bit empty to me. We might embellish across the top, but um, yeah, nothing too tall. And I came across this piece of um, Edith in my scraps. Edith scraps so I thought about just putting a very you know low it's a shame because I do love all that but can't have everything can I just like a low sort of pocket tuck as it were let's cut it down and it'll be another excuse to play with some of the, the pretty bits to decorate it won't it so um, I think I'm going to take it down a little bit more than that not an awful lot, but let's go to six centimetres. That should still be big enough to, um, yeah, to allow things to be tucked in it. Then I'm going to take it down through this one first to where the, the lovely script is right in. And then I'll see how much smaller it has to be. So, Yep, I'm wondering if, no, I think I want a bit off both sides. Um, I don't want to take too much off there so you can read, you know, that it's about the birds and... Rather than, you know, the end of, the end of a word, <laughs> which might sound a bit odd. A little bit more off here and a little bit straighter would be good. Let me do it both both ways to check. I said a little bit off, didn't I? And that was a little bit. <laughs> I might have to take some more. Let's have a look. No, I think we're okay. Still not convinced that's square. It could be my eyes. Let me have a look. It's as good as it's not far off. It might be a, a shaving off. I can't believe that I could see <laughs> that much difference. Oh, mind your fingers, Denise, on the desk. Right. So, hope you can see okay there. Oh gosh, is that the wrong side? Yeah. <laughs> I thought, oh no, I've taken more off. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. And I'm wondering if it wants thickening up a little bit. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to thicken it up, but I'm going to take another little chunk off. 
just a small one so it fits inside. Yeah, I don't want to make anything too heavy in this journal, so <coughs> it'll uh, stop me overstuffing it, won't it? So shall we have some rounded corners on it somewhere? Is that what I'm looking for? Yeah. Where shall we have them rounded at the top, I think? I haven't used this for a while. <laughs> Don't know what I'm doing. And then, um, I don't think I will put a divot in it. it. That will make it more vulnerable to tearing and it's small enough. Um, I've got eggs twisted, that's better. It's small enough that it's not going to need it. Actually, I quite like that now it's got the rounded, the rounded corners on it. Shall I bring you in a little bit again? Hello, it's Denise, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're well. I'm okay, but I'm fed up. <laughs> I've just been filming for 45 minutes and um, yeah, just thought I'd have a look how long I'd been on and saw the camera was not on and filming, nothing. Not the introduction, nothing. So I've been working on the journal I've been chatting away to you and um, you've seen none of it, none of it at all. So thank you for joining me. I will now go through and show you everything I have just done. So frustrating. It's my own fault. I should have looked at it, shouldn't I, in 45 minutes, but obviously I didn't. <laughs> so I'm just going to finish putting this butterfly on here and this tag in here. Goodness me, I was just thinking it was time for me to stop and go and have a, a cuppa. And uh, yeah, I haven't even started as far as you're concerned, have I? Okay, so back to the beginning. The fall journal. So I put the word journey in the front. Um, it can it, it can come out, it'll pop out the top and be changed. If you whoever owns it would like to change the name of it. So you can see it's getting chunky now, can't you? Because I've been working on it. I um, put some string underneath the back of this. I decided string was, um, well, a bit stronger to hold it down and a bit more in keeping than the um, embroidery twine. It's very nature-y, isn't it, and um, autumn-y. You've missed me going through and help, you know, helping choose all the bits and pieces that are going in here, but eventually that's the one that I decided for in there. Oops, just have that little bit on show. Yep. make sure I tie the right one up and then I uh, went to the front and I put a little pocket on the front we made it together I don't know who's going to be more frustrated you or me now so we made this little pocket out of some Edith paper and um, yeah, put a few little pieces from the kit in it and up there and um, a tag which I think wants something up there, but it's laying nice and flat, so I haven't decided yet. Um, it wants something on the front. We'll come back and do that in a moment. So I've put a couple of chunky pieces, in, well, yeah, they are fairly chunky pieces in here because it is quite a um, quite a wide pocket, that one. So this is the envelope that's got the, the journal card that we made the other day in it, journaling on the back as well. So I decided to put that in there. Um, I'm not putting any extra pockets in, even though there's lots of um, space to do so, because it's as it's as full as it's, or it's as fat as I want it to be. So I'm going to put you know um, embellishments and things on. Uh, now that we've I've filled the pockets, so don't worry about the empty uh, p pages. They will have something on, but it will just be you know embellishments. So we put a tag on that just on the top of there. Oops just so that it would um, hide the flower behind it until it was pulled out. Um, we didn't do anything with that one, we did that last time. We put this in here. Now more things can go in this, um, this pouch at the end, depending on what we've got left. I'll put a couple more things in. That's a nice sturdy piece, um, which is making the, the pouch sturdy and it's just fits nice so that's just going to sit in the middle. Um, I had a piece somewhere that was crying for in there. 
That wasn't it. What was it? I can't even go back and look now, can I? What I was going to put in there. Maybe I put it under here. Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, so just um, a piece from the kit again. It was, um, wasn't backed. I've just backed it to make it a little bit stronger. And then um, two smaller pieces in the front pouch. Just like the way the joy was popping out of there. Um, I cut tags, tag um, shape on this one and put this on the back of it. So it was obvious it was a tag. It's nice and strong so it doesn't need that where it goes yeah doesn't need anything you know you can grab it and pull it out there's lots of room in this um pouch at the moment i've just put this in it we stuck this in together and um just put a hole punched a hole through used this as my reinforcement just a piece of paper over the top and chose the uh the twine to go in there which is more autumny and gardeny Lots of beautiful pages. Some of them will have em embellishments, like I say. Um, I was embellishing. I just started embellishing I'd, after I'd been through and checked all the pockets and filled the pockets. So this will probably have something up here in a moment. I was just looking to see how long I've got to finish my embellishment when I saw... Um, yeah, I think this is what I was just doing. So... I haven't backed that it's I think it's strong enough for in there I've just put half a ticket cut it in half and put a bit of a, a t label ticket on there and then we've got a very backed but slim uh, what is that <laughs> it is a tab tag and then the back okay so that we did all that with lots of chatter <laughs> sorry I know it's the chatter that you you miss a lot of you isn't it so I did spend uh, my time saying that I have arranged for a or rather Neil's arranged it that's nice isn't it I love that bird's nest no um a decorator to come and give us a quote for the hall the hall stairs and landing just because it is such a job such a task it's uh yeah the paint works in a bad way it hasn't been looked after and um yeah we, we were just looking at it thinking what a lot of work uh, to get it into some kind of that's too much mm. yeah some kind of decent state i mean it's the first thing you see isn't it when anyone comes to your door or when you come in um you know from having been out somewhere so it kind of when it's done it will it will lift the whole oops that's not what I thought I'd grabbed that's what I thought I'd grabbed oh same as there look <laughs> I just don't know what I want on this this tab Um, there's just so much going on everywhere I keep calling it a tab and it's a tag but I just feel like it needs something I mean I quite like those but it's another dimension isn't it maybe just a plain ticket plain not plain <laughs> not not an aeroplane ticket oh what about that mm, no nope, don't like it <laughs> i'm desperately trying to get this raccoon in as well i've tried him in so many places it just doesn't um too many birds you see yeah let's just try a plane see if we can find a nice plane uh, ticket to go up there because i've nearly i've used all my um uh creative energy up <laughs> thinking that i was chatting to you now do i want something similar or something different i wish i knew Oh, that's the same paper. Um, got these green ones. Perhaps a plainish. Now these are not my names, these are somebody else's. I'm thinking if I cut it down and shape it, let's, let's have a little play with it. I do like this shape. 
I'm about to create. So yeah, I also spent 10 minutes telling you how sorry I'm feeling for myself. So I've got a head cold. <laughs> Neil brought home from work and uh, yeah, it's not COVID, it's just a head cold. But um, I could do without it. To be fair, it could be worse though. I mustn't, mustn't complain too much. There's lots of poorly people out there and yeah, I have been poorly myself in my time and in the scheme of things now I quite like that and that might be a base to put something else on now we'll see oh. yeah I mean I have had a little word with myself <laughs> because at least I can you know stay home and stay warm and I don't have to force myself to go to work or anything like that so yeah, I'm still feeling blessed, even though I've got a cold. <laughs> yep, yeah, I like that. Now I'm wondering about a little bit of... No, Denise, let's not, because there's just so much going on. <laughs> no, I think, I think I'm overdoing it in the front there. Right, let's put something on here, though. You definitely can have something. Do we have him? Oops. Yeah, let's have him. You need inking. Yeah, so by the time I go and get my cup of tea, I'll have been here probably an hour and a half, but at least I'm getting the, the journal done. <laughs> Just so sorry that you missed everything that I've done so far. Okay, I think that'll be fine to put in, even though it's wet, cause, because it is. Yes, I'm, I'm looking forward to using up quite a lot of this um, pre-made ephemera, the stuff that I made from last year, um, in these two journals, the other one that I've got done, so that uh, I can start making some new new stuff this year. Oops, I didn't show you everything I had with me, well I did at the beginning, but you haven't seen it, so I've got some lovely page, a couple of page edge um, decorations from the beginning of the year, so these I think were um, made with the the planner, the, the February, the sepia, uh, grain sepia kit from Nanine, um, bits from the planner, and I've also got her um, rulers, which is another uh, digital that she has. And then I've got all the these bits that we made at some point, um, for embellishing, and then all the pictures that you've already you've already seen. So um, what I'm going to do now, I mean that's quite quite thick. Let's go through where there are, are plain pages. I mean, I'm not going to consider that plain because, you know, there's all this going on and it's it's got a lot going on on the page itself. But like here, although this is going to be a journaling page, it wants a bit of something. A bit of something on it. And yeah, am I going to be, am I going to be able to decide? Now that could go on as a tuck, couldn't it? Let's not waste time and let's do it because let's get it filled. Yeah, I'm not going to put anything in it for now. And then, you know, if it's too fat, I won't put anything in it. Um, I'll just leave it. I don't want to tuck that bit down as well. I might. It's going to stick up if I don't. So it's more, it's a pockety tuck <laughs> now. Won't take anything big, but wondering if I should just put a label in it. That's a good idea, isn't it? What um, all these nice tall ones as well. Oh, that's very thin paper. Yeah, but they could be used elsewhere, couldn't they? It's not. It's not adding any bulk. Are you down? Yeah. Okay. So this one definitely doesn't want to tuck. Some lovely mushrooms. That one's on the kit, isn't it? Oh, this, this lovely pumpkin. Is that leaving enough room for... I'm going to have it down because I love it. It is from one of Nanine's kits, the Autumn Fall 2021. You know, I keep saying it. And Nanine, uh, Nanine's links are in my description. Nanine at Collage Type, that's her 
her shop and her channel and I'm thinking a word oh, oh I've made a mess of me I've made a mess of me box now hello fall or autumn I like that one I think see that even little things like this do eventually when you have them on every page start to add bulk And again, that's quite a full on page. I'm not going to do anything on it. Um, these just want something quite plain on them, don't they? Two matching ones. What do you think? No. No. I thought those were the words. Those the wordy ones. Somebody's stolen them. <laughs> Is that them? Yeah, got one in back. That's it, backwards way on. So where did I put? Oh, I put that one there. We don't want to do the same. No. What about like that? Let's think around this and make it a bit stronger. Edge. So one top right and one bottom left. Yep, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'm not really adding too much to the page then. I mean, I could have added paper, uh, you know, journaling spots, things like that. But I think I'll just leave the beautiful colours to speak for themselves. And then if whoever owns it wants to journal on it, they can either use a nice dark pen or they can pop some paper on it themselves, couldn't they? Yeah. That's got that nice big chunky one that we looked at at the beginning. Um, that's a nice piece to rest your eyes on isn't it as you turn out over the page but it's going to need something on it let's have a look at these um, pictures here you're not going to have a raccoon are you no no just try me animals because you know <laughs> hmm, don't really dislike him but I just want something kind of to tie in a little bit with that which is a bit brighter isn't it than a lot of these sorry should be doing it while you can see oh foxy I like him I was going to say I'll have a look and see if there's anything else but I won't I'm just gonna put him down. Yes, Denise, you're putting bits all over your book. Oh, that's twice that's nearly fallen over and not. <sighs> Do you move him at the bottom again? Yes. Let's. Shall I put him on as a tuck? I will. I'll put it on as a tuck and see. Small one see if it'll hold well enough Oops, straight would be good not quite straight but I'll just leave him to set and see oh look he's looking for his cubs which are over here oh she is this wants something on it doesn't it right Ooh, let's try the where is the raccoon? Where are you? <laughs> I'm determined to get him in. I 
no I don't think that's the right place for you let's look at some of these big Sometimes it takes me a while to work out which way we're growing. Hmm. I think you could do leaves. No, there's leaves going up, leaves going down. There's fruit going up, fruit going down. You could probably have that either way. I'm not having it now, it's upset me. <laughs> I can't decide where to put it. Mushrooms and owl. I'm just putting things on to see if they if they grab me interest. It's a really big one. We've got a rabbit and a fox. But we've just put him on, so new. No. Okay. Not him. Again, which way do you go? Well, the writing looks like it's going that way. No. 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 What about one of these? There's some mushrooms behind it. Where's the others? Yeah, that way. <laughs> bright that was with the mushrooms behind let's just ink the edges up it would be nice to use some of these lovely frames up I did quite like that excuse me yeah, you just need a bit of trimming off the bottom. It's not going to show anyway, is it? I'm going to leave that bit in there because it's attaching them together. That white space, which is now not white. Yeah, just gives it a pop, doesn't it? That bright flower. All right, so where do we want you? Right down there not past that line okay let's see if i can do it you're right so i think um no i don't know what i've told you what i haven't now it's a very um bright day here but oh so cold when you put your nose out the door <laughs> it's um deceptive it's beautiful through the window but uh, yeah it's not warm because i saw the beautiful sunshine and put my towels in the wash and I've put them out on the line and my goodness me I mean they're blowing so it's blowy so hopefully they'll they'll mostly dry before they go in the tumble dryer but um, yeah it's colder than I was expecting I went out in just my sleeves not that I think I would have put my coat on to go to the line not yet <laughs> I will be doing come the winter well if I put stuff out on the line then I will be going out to the shed because that is where my tumble dryer is. <laughs> you lovely um, American and Canadian and anywhere else in the world where you have the, your basements with your utilities in them. I'm quite jealous. <laughs> I'm sure they're cold. Well, might not be actually, but um, yeah. Oh, look, I've just seen a really big one now. Nicer than going outside. Okay, let's leave it and come back. So we're just leaving that beautiful owl in the middle. Um, this definitely needs something. It's got a big pocket on the back, so perhaps something across the top. Everything has beauty. And that's quite nice on there. What we're having up here. Don't know why these are all out rather than in the the pot. 
Yes, you do, Denise, because you've got them out and you didn't put them away. That's why. <laughs> True. Um, I think I might be putting them back in the wrong place, though. Never mind. Oh, I liked that, didn't I? I really liked that. Just that blue pop of the eggs in there. Do I think it goes? I don't see why not. Let's, um, I've torn round it rather than cut it straight. Just wondering if it would be better. torn more interestingly like that hmm let's rough it up a bit where it's been allegedly torn from its that's it how come I didn't do the bottom bit I don't know got excited, had an idea and got excited and didn't finish what I was doing. Yeah, I like it up there because it's in a tree, isn't it? Oh, I like it when I get the pretties in that I really like. So there's a couple of pops of blue just here and there in this uh, journal, which is nice. Amongst all the reds and oranges and browns. I still like this one down here, so it's things like this that, that add the chunk though because there's a, a vintage button on it. So it will be a little bit, a little bit of a lump. Um, if you get the, the journal and you don't like the bumpiness of it, you can just um, carefully, I guess, but you could pull that off. It's glued on that button got stitching through it but it's glued on so you could probably prise it off and put another piece of paper or something over it and do I want anything down here no that's not thinking just a label here plainish I'm just taking the edges off and making it a little bit thinner at the same time so I'm not hiding too much of that lovely plant but yeah I think a label across there with lots of grungy edge on it Grungy it up with my thumb as well. well. It's a good job I wanted it grungy, isn't it? Gosh, I could have done two videos by now. I don't know. I never learn. I will do for a while. I'll be good for a while checking and checking and checking, and then I'll let my guard down. Oops. I turn two no just a big one I'm just going to leave those they're just so beautiful on their own aren't they they don't need they don't need a centerpiece they've got their own centerpiece what do I want on here butterfly let's just grab a few bits shall we oops I've got clocks. Uh, no, they're not the right colour. Oh, there's my stamps, look. Oh, so there's a badger and a squirrel. And uh, it's some kind of a bird, but I don't know what kind of a bird. Oh, excuse my grumbles. That's a huge tree stump. That's a hare. Hmm, right. Interesting, Denise. 
They do make a nice collection, those two, though, don't they? Three? Shall I have three? Those have both got the queen's head on in gold. And this one's got it on in silver, so... Shall we just put those two on? I think I've got this squirrel on a piece of ephemera somewhere. What do we think? I quite like them. I'm not going to back them on anything. And I'm not going to ink them. I'm just going to put them down. They're just nice to look at, aren't they? So, um, that's the red squirrel, it says underneath. Oh, I think they've got the Latin name, Latin name as well, but it's so tiny, I can't read it. So I don't know if they're British or um, yeah, British Empire. Is that what it's called now? I don't know. Or other, other places in the world that um, have our Queen as there. I don't know what. Not as their Queen, are they? Oh, Denise, you're showing your, uh, you're showing your lack of knowledge up now. I don't know if they're their queen as well. <laughs> you know, like Australia, is she, uh, no, because you have a prime minister. Oh, I don't know. Is she a head of state or what? I don't know. I do like him. I would like to get him in. I'm going to spoil him by tearing him. Hope not. Are you spoilt? Yes. No, you're not. Just looks like he's got a layer, which was the whole point. <laughs> you look like you're layered on something. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not getting any wiser thinking about the Queen and the how some other countries call her queen as well so if you want to educate me please do always looking for a bit of edu education right these would have been nice on here but we've used them oh what about this hmm there's a tuck let me just check the other one now I just like the colours of that one which way are we going Denise make sure you know Oh, grumble, grumble. Yeah, it's well into dinner time now. So, in fact, it's past dinner time now. That's my excuse for the grumbles because I feel like they're just going to keep coming. The rumbles and the grumbles. What shall we pop behind you? Have we got anything thin? I'm sure we have. That's just the perfect colour really don't want to put anything much uh, you know thickness wise and weight wise that's what I was trying to say yeah I've got a very inky thumb I probably need to stop and, and wash it because I'm, I'm putting ink marks on things we're nearly done though aren't we quite like that it just sort of jumped out at me from the table which is often the way mm, don't think a bird there's a few birds there but definitely don't want pockets um, page edges that's nice yeah Oh, I'm hiccuping now, I do beg your pardon. So the whole thing's going to have to go on because it's not a double. Oh gosh, we're getting, we're getting chunky. It's not a double thickness, uh, it's not backed, that's what I was trying to say. Gosh. So I will blame my head cold, I think, on not. I'm assuming I just didn't press play. That's the only thing I can think has happened nobody's coming along and pressed stop because there wasn't even a second of filming on there well, that's a heavy page now 
do we want anything on there? Hmm. Why not? Yeah, if you look out the window, there's blue fluffy clouds and it's bright sunshine. Beautiful. I don't know if you just heard that, but the, the wind is howling and rattling things. Oops. I think I might be going to put my heating on and uh, have an, ev an evening, an afternoon, an hour or so. In front of the TV, I'll probably sleep. I didn't sleep very well last night. Um, cup of tea while well, the bath water heats up, and then I'm gonna have a lovely, lovely soak. Okay, so let's see if we can put anything else in that middle one. No, I'm just going back over seeing if I need something on any of them. I don't think I do. Keep thinking, do I want a word across there? Hmm, that's quite interesting. Let's ink it up and see. Or is it just me? But who would expect a tape measure on a piece of music paper? Then again, it's probably the only part of the paper you could actually write on, isn't it? Mm. No, I won't. I need to put something in him just to show he's a talk. Shall we just put that in? It's a very thin piece of paper. <laughs> I've gone to the effort of inking it and it is, I don't know, it's just screaming a little bit bare at the top of that page to me. I have to go and give my hands a bit of a scrub. Oops. I may be being a bit generous with the ink on these things and then, yeah, this one it was one that I couldn't decide about. I'm just wondering if does that get lost or does it? I know there's a, a toadstool here, so just feeling it could do with a really big focal point there. You know, it's too much like that. I don't think there is anything else cut out that. No, too much. Hmm. No, definitely too chunky. Um, plain, what about something plain? Have I got anything plain? I don't know that I have. That's entirely the wrong colour. No. is indecisive. I was doing so well. Oh, I don't dislike that on there. So these are those lovely tickets from Tanya. No, 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 just playing, <laughs> just playing. Um, I think I've just about pulled everything in now. These are the wrong colour. Oh. oh, now what about that colour? I want to pick that up and try it. It just fell on there. Mushroom. I'm not sure with the mushroom on the other page, but mushrooms, lots of mushrooms grow together, don't they? Yeah, it kind of, yeah, I like it. 
just gives the page a bit of dimension without adding too much to it I hope that's the idea okay I think we're very nearly done all I need to do is add some beads and the charm yeah I like that might even tie one of these in now now that's there I think it probably does now there's a bit of this colour on the page yes well who'd have thought it it's chunky <laughs> it is chunky right so I might get one more piece in that middle one and uh, a couple of whoops a couple of charms on the bottom it's not it's heavy enough I was going to say it's not too heavy but it's quite heavy and then I've got to decide if I'm going to put something down there um, but those two or three little things you will see during the flip through so gosh I'm shattered I hope you enjoyed seeing it I'm so so sorry that you missed um the first three quarters of an hour it uh, it was a shame but maybe it saved you a bit of pain and you just got to see the the uh, the finished um product so give me a thumbs up if you get chance if not um just have a lovely day and tomorrow should be scraps on Sunday so yay some nice easy playing with and massive overflowing <laughs> box of scraps so yeah have a lovely day and I'll I'll see you then bye for now <laughs>